Hey everybody, this is Jaden Sinclair. Today I'm going to be playing some Zeus Master of Olympus. Now, this is an older game. Um, one of my favorite ones when, from when I was younger. It's a city building game set in ancient mythical Greece. And what I figured is I'm going to just start playing through the adventures that they have from the beginning and we'll see how it goes. So, let's get started. First adventure is Zeus and Europa. Follow a cow? The priestess from the oracle said to follow a cow? A peculiar command, to be sure, but then the priestess is never wrong. She promised that great things would come to the person who follows her cow until it lays down to sleep, and then builds a city on the spot. This person will be able to achieve something that four powerful men failed to achieve, and finally bring Europa back to Greece. The beautiful Europa was abducted years ago by a white bull, and has not been seen since. And thus, the priestess's bovine-centric prophecy came to an end. The cow did not choose a very good spot. She fell asleep a short distance from a hideous multi-headed serpent that purportedly belongs to Ares. The monster is always ravenously hungry and eats everything that comes near him. Building a city here won't be easy, but the promised reward is irresistible. All right, so looks like we're going to be founding Thebes. So our goal for this is to get our population to a thousand. And you'll see as we play this how it kind of goes. So, let's look at our map right now. So, this up here is fertile land. That's where you can grow food and whatnot. Though, so you'll notice there are also some wolves over there. there. Alright. Um, so, and we've got the Hydra. So, the Hydra's down there in the marble quarry. Probably won't have to worry about that too much, but eventually we're going to be getting it here to deal with that, I'm sure. So, more fertile land up here, and the main roads here. So, let's quick look. I'm not going to explain exactly what all this is if you haven't seen this before, but we'll learn as we go. I've played the game quite a bit uh, when I was younger, and hopefully all my knowledge comes back to me. So, uh, these are all the different types of things that can be in our city. So, this is our housing, we can just get some common housing. And what I'm looking here right now is seeing what food we can get. So, we've got wheat farms, so that's one food source. We've got olive trees, which aren't used for food, they're used to make olive oil, which people like. And then we can get some sheep and goats. So sheep will get us wool, um, and the goats will actually get us cheese, so that's another food source there. Or both the goats and the wheat farms need to be built on an area of this fertile land. So what I think we're going to do Alright, I'm jumping around here a lot. Uh, I think I'm going to start building my city up near this area here, since we've got a bunch of fertile land for the food. So, let's start. Okay, we got the Nemean Games, but we don't have to worry about that, because we don't have any gymnasiums or stadiums yet, so we're certainly not going to win. Um, we won't be winning the games for a while. <laughs> so, let's start off by building our, the start of our city. So just gonna go along here for a bit and I have a basic layout I like to use I've, of course I already messed it up and right if I remember I can click and drag yeah I can okay so I'm gonna set up a little town square here um, so we'll do five by five houses in the center with some going around on the outside. We're going to make sure also to have access to this road so people can get up there. Uh, Alright. I'm just going to build this like this for now. So there isn't much access into there, but we're going to have a bunch of houses and we're going to start seeing people arrive and see them all streaming up. And they're going to go into the lowest level of housing available, which are huts. And as you provide resources and supplies to these huts, they'll eventually improve, increasing the housing capacity, and then drawing more people into your city. So, next thing we need to work on is, so if you, we click on one of these, you'll see that we need food for them to actually improve. So the next thing I'm going to do is start on our food production. I think I'm just 
gonna build a nice road out into there, and then we're gonna put some wheat farms here first. Uh, we hit 100 people. All right, so we got some food going there. Um, I will also then build some dairies and get some goats. Each dairy can support, I think, it's like eight goats or whatnot, so I can get a bunch from there and our goat herds go out there. Mount Catherion becomes hostile. All right, apparently they don't like us. So, there is a world map over here of all of the cities in the current world, so that Mount Catherion right there, they're the ones that don't like us. Um, we've got Eleusis, who don't really care that much. We've got Kaladin, which is our ally. Uh, Argos is another ally, and Mount Pelion is also an ally. So we've got a bunch of allies, two rivals here, and that's us. There's also Libya here, which that represents a nation we can trade with, but that isn't shown on the map. And then there's Nosos here, which is probably a city that's growing. That just means it's a little point that will become something eventually. So, we've got these going here. Next thing we're going to need is somewhere to store that food, once it's eventually made, which will be these granaries. So I'm going to build two of those up here. And something else that's important are these little maintenance offices, because if we don't have him walking around, um, our places might start burning to the ground or just collapsing, so he makes sure they're all in good repair. And what I just dropped there are roadblocks, which means people who are just patrolling randomly will not go past those, so he's just going to kind of stay in this little block here and only do these buildings. Uh, we could see... You know, there's a bun bunch of different things to see here, so let's look right here. Right now, our unemployment rate is 28%, which is fairly high. People will not be too happy about that. Um, trying to find... Uh, no, that's not what I'm looking for here. So here we can see kind of a basic overview of all of our problems. So right now, we're very popular. We don't have enough food. We have high unemployment, good hygiene, good unrest, and our money is down. And unless... All right, so... We'll do... Oh! All right, uh, apparently we're going to be invaded in two months. Uh, so, what we could do is we could build one of these palaces, and that'll get us uh, enough. We'll be able to get rabble, which are actually our citizens that essentially get conscripted when we go to war, which means we'll have fewer people working at those times, and they could defend us. Or, what'll probably happen is that when that invasion gets launched, uh, here it comes, when they get here, I'm just going to pay them some money to leave. Uh, you can almost always bribe them to go away, that way you don't have to worry about it. So, as I said, the next thing I want to start doing is getting these guys ready to have the food. So, what we need to do is we build a common agora, and this just kind of gives us space to put in vendors. So, alright, and here it is. So, my options, I can surrender, which means we become their vassal and need to pay them tribute. I can just bribe them with 525 drachmas, and I've got 3,000 some, or I can fight to defend it. I don't have any units to fight with, so I'm just going to bribe them. Hooray! I can build a commemorative mon monument for my victory. Alright, so. And there! That's what we need maintenance offices for. So let's quickly build one of those. Um, otherwise, oh, okay, we do got a guy coming down from there to, he's running down to put out the fire. Yeah, so if they're not being checked on, you can actually see... If I click... Nope, not there. If I see problems... Nope, that's not it. Uh, see hazards. So you can see these things had a very high hazard level for now. And as this guy goes by and checks them, he lowers that hazard level. So... Hopefully he goes up there again. So he's going to keep that low enough. I should have done that earlier. But... Oh well, he's there now. They, the hut didn't burn now, so as I said, we are now going to add a food vendor to this Agora. Um, and what that'll do is, since we have all this food, oh, we're filling up on food fairly quickly. This food, this vendor here. I can't wait to pick out the finest food for my customers. I wouldn't want them to go hungry. When you click on people, they all say some things. I'll probably try to ignore that when I'm actually playing, but. Uh, she's going to go up, grab some food, bring it down here, and then they're going to start distributing it through these huts. And the huts will improve uh, into something else, and then 
the number of occupants they can have will go up. And as we said, our objective was to get to a population of 1,000. Right now we're at 328. I think with a bit of evolution of getting these houses evolved up, we will be able to get to that without having to build too much of a settlement. So, let's see. There goes the food, the vendor carrying food, nothing else yet. And as we can see, as he's going past the houses, they are going up to become shacks. Alright. And looking at that now, we need water. So, water is under here, yes. So, fountain. Fountain works kind of like the maintenance guys. There's going to be... This will just start having water and it. Some water bearers will come out, they'll travel through. Hopefully that'll be enough to get these people upgraded out of their shacks into... Uh, nothing, because they apparently need more culture to evolve. Okay, uh, so let's talk about culture. <laughs> um, in this slot here, there's three different types of things. There's drama, philosophy, and the, just the gymnasium. So these are the different types of culture. People are happier when they have access to more uh, different types, and to get to the highest levels of settle, uh, of houses, you need, I believe, access to all three. The way gymnasiums work is you'll just have a guy there, he'll wander around. The way the other two work is that there will be kind of a training area, a drama school or the college, and then a later area, which is the podium or the theater. People will train in the training area and then head to the other one who will then send out the people. So, let's build a little offshoot. Oh, we've hit 500. We're halfway to our goal. All right, I'm gonna build a little offshoot here. And let's just stick down a gymnasium for now. Um, so, see here, eventually someone's gonna come. There he is. <laughs> Look at all, all right. those flabby idlers without jobs. They should get in shape and find jobs. So our athlete's now gonna wander around, and as you see, as he's going by, our shacks are upgrading to hovels. And they can't evolve until the appeal of the neighborhood increases. So. Uh, oh, okay, so Argos wants to give me some olive oil, and I don't have anywhere to put it. Let me postpone that, and I'll do that now. So, uh, there's two types of storage things. There's granaries, which store food, and there's storehouses, which food, uh, store everything else. So I'm going to build myself two storehouses here. I'm also going to change my roadblocks so that the maintenance guy will go up, because I wouldn't want them to collapse with a bunch of stuff in them. Uh, so, next time he offers us that olive oil right now, we can accept it, and it'll go there. Uh, and olive oil is another thing these guys will need after the food, and after the appeal, appeal increase, and also after fleece, which we'll do in a second. So, let's increase our appeal. So that's what this tab is here. We can see, essentially, how attractive everything is. Um, oh, he wants us to send him fleece. We might not have that in time, so let me quickly <laughs> go up here. Uh, I need to build some carting sheds. And let's build another one. And then we're going to build some sheep. Build sheep. We're going to get some sheep. They're going to go harvest those. And then eventually we'll be able to create fleece from there. Um, but that might not be within that 12 months that the guy wants them by. So we'll see. So back to beauty. We can see, as I said, with our appeal, uh, there's different levels. These guys are all neutral. This area up here is very unappealing because it's like the storage district and whatnot. But we can build things. Uh, columns, parks, change up our roads. We can do benches and gazoobas. And we can build these monuments like for our victory over those invaders. Um, <laughs> the so-called victory. And people are leaving. What's going on? Um, first of all, there's the Olympian Games, which are essentially the games of all of the culture. Also, yeah, as you build these culture buildings, your people will eventually go off to these games, compete, and if you win, you get monuments and whatnot. Why are you all leaving? Uh, they don't have water. Water guy, what are you doing? You're probably wandering strangely. Uh, I'm trying to see... Where are you? Oh, actually... Nope. I don't know. I thought maybe we had run out of workers and this wasn't work operating Look properly. Look at all those flabby idlers uh, without jobs. No, it's got they that. We got 50% of unemployment. So that's not very good. There it is. 
So see here, this water guy is walking down that way first and not going to any of the houses. So what I'm going to do to fix that is I'm actually going to build roadblocks here and here. So that means this guy is going to stay in this path and the water will only go around there. But the problem now is these guys are only going here. So what I need to do now is I'm going to build a road around this whole area. And that means we lost the games as I knew we would. And that means he's going to be going around and they'll be t reaching all the people that way. But now the problem is they can't get into the center. I did not build my my city very well. Um, so, before things get worse, yeah, I know you want the fleece, but I'm not I'm not going to have it. Let me quickly look. So, do any of my allies produce fleece? You sell fleece. And you sell fleece. So who's asking me for the fleece? Where do I go for that? This. Uh, Kaladin needs fleece. You're an ally, right? Y you're this guy. You sell fleece. Why do you need ally? Why do you need it? All right. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go here. He's sympathetic to me, and I'm going to request that he sends me some fleece. Uh, and if he does that, I'll have the fleece to send to the other guy. <laughs> um... And if I request too much from him too quickly, it'll make him unhappy, but hopefully that doesn't become a problem. All right, so I have a problem here in that these center houses are not gonna get their culture now. So I think I'm gonna need to do a little remodeling. So this is gonna waste some more money, but oh well. Let's remove these. And then we're gonna make some people homeless. And you can go away for now as well. All right, so <laughs> what I'm gonna do, I am going to remove this house, build, move these two areas. No, oh, they just got rid of that. Also get rid of that. All right, I'm actually gonna build another little house there. That's okay. But then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a road off of here. And Yes. Cool, I'm gonna dispatch it. Oh, because they gave me the fleece, that's why. Alright, they gave me the fleece. Gave me 18. I sent off 10 of it, I think, so I'm left with 8. Although I think my guys are actually getting some fleece now. Well, I probably didn't need to do that. Alright, let's go back. Let's build that gym again down here. And then hopefully, it'll actually start going around and maybe the water will continue to get to everyone. So. Everyone should now be getting culture, everyone should be getting water, should be getting food. Let's make things pretty. So I'm going to build this monument right in the center here. And now if we look at the appeal, we'll see all this stuff is somewhat appealing. This stuff still also somewhat or neutral. Monuments are probably one of the biggest ways to do it. I'm also then going to surround that monument with some parks. And that'll hopefully make everything pretty. And what we can now see, oh, you'll see the roads actually change as they get prettier as well. So like up here it's very beaten dirt and whatnot, whereas down here we've got shiny nice stone. Um, so as we can see, this area is the prettiest spot I have. So what do we need now? Now we need fleece. So now it's time to build a fleece fender. And since we already have a bunch stored up here, he's going to go out grab it and these guys will be getting ready to evolve. And we've almost won this. We're at population 920 right now. so. Shouldn't be that long. We even have like the olive oil and whatnot to keep improving, so we couldn't. Well, I'm gonna get started on that now. So, something I just realized, these guys are not seeing any maintenance. So if we looked at this and looked at hazards, we can see these guys are getting really dangerous. So let's actually drop a roadblock down there and get rid of that roadblock. And hopefully that maintenance guy will get down there soon. And here we go. They've gotten fleece, now need access to more culture. And that's where I said, as I said, the, it comes into the play that they need... Uh, Alright, well, we've got plague. <laughs> so, uh, a bunch of people are leaving, others are getting sick. If the plague keeps up, they're going to keep leaving. So, what I need to do to prevent that is come in here and put in an infirmary. 
that person will patrol around and hopefully get them fixed and help prevent the plague. Go on. Go help them. Alright. A lot of things to manage with this, especially early on as you're building a city. The cool thing is that in each of these adventures, each adventure has a number of scenarios in it. And in each one, you're going to keep the city you built in the previous ones and expand upon it. So with that in mind, I'm actually going to start right now building... Well, never mind. I was going to start, but we're just about to win the game. Uh, well, win this scenario. So we've hit a thousand people. This is going to trigger in a second, and we're, our city is off to an okay start. Nah. Nah, you did it? You know, get the victory message? What is your problem? Water! Oh, the water died. Guys, I'm not getting to them. Under your leadership, Thebes is beginning to thrive. Yet the multi-headed menace still plagues the land, and the city will never be truly great as long as it counts the monster as one of its residents. Alright, so there we are. We won this um, scenario. Apparently the monster's still plaguing us, despite it being down in the middle of nowhere. We, we don't care, but we will eventually, because we're going to want marble, because that's an important resource. So, we're going to move on. It's going to bring us into the next scenario. And then we will go from there.